Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we finished up with our trade in the previous lesson. All right, so we got to this point right here to add actually points. Now, the thing is, I didn't want it to be too complicated. So I just created a convict file for points. And I'm just going to return basically rewards for new replies. 10 points for new thread is 20 points. You can decide however you want to do this. All right. Now, this is the place where we can actually set and change the values of the point system. And you can add actually now the other one that uh, Ikar asked for is if they like. So you can say new like or something like that. And, or best solution or all that kind of things. You can all add it, add them in here, right here. But I'm just going to do for the new reply and new thread right there. Okay, so just make sure you copy this. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I need to add, if we can see here, we've we got an event, okay, from the previous lessons when a reply is created, okay, this event fires off, and when the thread is created, this event fires off. All right, so the first one that I'm going to be working with is the reply event, all right? So we're going to create a listener, award the, um, basically to reward somebody if they created the reply. All right, so let's create our first listener. Okay, so that listener will basically listen for the reply event. Okay, so let's quickly create that. So let's open up our terminal. In this case, what we're going to do is PHP artisan make listener. All right, and we're going to call this one award uh, points for creating reply <laughs> now it's a long name but that kind of makes sense if you read it you know what it is for All right so let's just quickly create that one and let's create another one at word points for creating so creating thread right, because we're going to need them for both we're going to need one for the thread and we're going to need one for the reply. Right, so now we got an award points. So we got two listeners. We got award points for creating a reply. So this is the first one that I'll be working with. Okay, so we can, let's just delete everything inside there and just keep the handle method right here. Okay, so let's just delete all of this stuff. I don't want to add anything. If you want to, you can add. Right. So in this case, this event fires off when a reply was created. Okay. All right. So this event fires off. So just make sure that we bring in this reply right there. I'm just going to remove this just to clean up my code a little bit. Now, this awards when a, for a reply that's created. Now, the first thing I want to do is we just want to bring in the amount the amount of points that we're going to get give the user so we go to the convict uh, this one is going to be the rewards points rewards to reply as you can see we can just easily go to those points right there okay so for me i'm going to go for this is the new reply so they're going to get 10 points okay so nice and easy all right, the next one is the message. Okay, what message are we going to give to the person? All right, the message will be uh, a user created a reply. So that's our message. Okay, the next thing, we need to get the author. Okay, so let's get the author quickly. The author, we're going to get to the event. All right, the event that fires off, because remember, when the reply is created, let's go to that event quickly. When we create a, doing this event fires off, let's open up quickly our job. I want to explain things, so please bear with me. All right, so let's just go to our jobs. App. Jobs. Create a reply. So when we create a reply, we pass in the reply variable, the one that's just been created to that event, 
All right, so we receive that event in our reply right here. We pass it in there. So we pass that reply as a variable to our reply as created. So it gets received right here. So then in that event, that reply is there. Okay, so in the event, okay, we're going to go to get the reply, okay, and then we want to get the author of that reply. What we want to do is we want to get this author, okay? Then we want to add points, okay? Remember, so as you can see, it already gets the add points. Why do we get that? So let's just go to the user model. As you can see, it in the interface, it in that pointable, and it got the has points right there. And in the has points, it's got the add points right here. Okay, so that's why it's showing us the add points right there. Now, inside here, we just want to put in the amount and the message. All right. So now, whenever a reply is created, it will assign a point to basically the author of that reply. Awesome. All right. Okay. Now, this will not work because we need to go to our app providers, to our event service provider. So when this reply is fired off, it sends a new reply and another one that we want to add, award points for creating a reply class. Just make sure that we register that as well. So I'm just going to add another one here for the award points for creating a thread class as well, like that. Okay, so when a reply is created, it fires this off right here. Okay, now another thing is, I just want to leave this as a note to anybody that wants to probably learn something new. All right. If you, you cannot do a die and dump in your event listener like this, you cannot do that. All right. So just in case for anybody that wants to know. All right. So if you want to die and dump the event, what you can do, you can do a log like this. Eliminate support log. Okay. And then you can put info like this, and you can just put in working like this. Just to make sure that you get to the event, and just make sure you import it there at the top as well. So that's another way to actually just check anything that happens inside your events, all right, in your listeners or stuff like that, okay? I just wanted to mention that for anybody that will maybe want to check what is happening inside here, and just... Just extra information, not necessary, but just extra. Right, now the next thing is we need to check if we create a reply that this author actually gets points. So let's check it out. All right, so let's create a quickly a new reply. So new reply created. Let's see. Undefined constant. Oh, this needs to be a string. Let's quickly fix that. This right here needs to be a string. It mustn't be a constant. That's quite correct. So just change this to make sure that you have a string right here. So I'm going to leave the errors in so that if you do find them yourself, you can be able to fix it easily and quickly. Right. So the next thing, let's just do that. Okay. So hopefully everything worked now. Let's create another reply. Another reply. So just post that again. Uh, too few arguments. Do, 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 do. In your models point. Oh boy, I I know why. I know why. Let's quickly go and fix that as well. So open up your point model. All right. You see where we save the award. All right. We need to actually pass in the variable like this. The award right there. Okay. We need to pass it as a variable right there. All right. And everything should work perfectly now. Right, so I'm just going to delete these ones. This one as well. Not fine because I already deleted it probably. Yes, let's create a new reply. Let's post it. Everything should work. As you can see, a reply was created. So let's go and check our points. So if we refresh this, you will see now we got a point. All right. So the user got 10 points. Message, user created the reply, current points 10, 
pointable type is the user's pointable ID is number two. So if we go to the uh, table, the forum right here, if we go to the user's table, you will see John Doe is user ID number two right there. So very, very nice. So we go to our points. Let's create another reply and see if the current points actually add up. Right, so let's just create another reply. Post. Okay, so they created another reply. If we refresh this, as you can see, the points increased by 20, uh, by 10 again. So now the current point stands on 20. All right. So let's, the next part that we want to do is we want to do this for the, when the person actually created a thread as well. So let's do that quickly. All right, so the points, we don't need to do that. All right, so award points for creating a reply. So the next one is for award points for creating a thread. Okay, so let's just delete everything again. Let's give us some room. All right, so what we want to do is when this one is going to be thread, the event is thread was created just want to show you that event so if we go to events thread was created event okay so in that we i just want to make sure i import it as well all right so we can basically copy everything on the inside right here just copy everything on your reply one and paste it in here all right and this one is going to be user created a thread like this okay and in the point system rewards and this will be a new thread like this okay because if we go to our points let's just go to the convict file no, not like that. points points like this the convict for the new thread keeps 20 points okay so that's a reward for that now the problem now is when the thread is created we're not going to get the event for the reply anymore we're going to get it for the thread so the only thing that we need to change here is we need to add the thread in here. Okay, so basically the event, we get the thread, we get the author of the thread, and then we add basically the amount of points and that to the user. Okay, so I just want to make sure if we go to our providers, event service provider, just make sure you add the when the thread is created, it sends their thread notification and it awards basically for the user. All right. And that's it. So let's quickly test it out. Let's create a thread and see what that use John Doe actually creates, gets points. All right. So there's a new discussion and some tags, Laravel and PHP. This uh, new thread. Right, so the thread was created right here. Okay, and you can see the user created a thread, so they got 20 points. So now the current point stands on 40 right there. Okay, awesome stuff. Right, another question that I will pose to you as homework is I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to put it out there for you guys to maybe do. Just remember, a user can delete a thread as well. So how would you handle that, All right? And a user can delete a reply. So let's just go to this one right here. So basically John Doe can go and they can delete the reply. But the problem is their points will still stay the same. So how would you deal with that? So in this case, what you will do is you will create two new events. I'm just gonna give you some guidelines in order for you to fix it yourself. All right, so in your convict file in your point system, all right, then you can create a minus 10 and a minus 20 points. Okay, so in this case, deleted, uh, deleted thread, and deleted reply. Okay. okay, like this, and you add the negative 10, negative 20, and negative 10. All right, you're going to do that. All right. Let me just save this. Then you're going to create two new events. All right. I'm just going to do this homework. I'm not going to do it myself. I just want to help you guys. Okay. So you can create two 
new events. You can create an event, reply was deleted event, and the reply and the thread was deleted event. Okay. Then you're going to create listeners that deduct points for deduct points for deleting a reply, deduct points for deleting a thread. Okay. Then you're going to go inside your providers and you're going to register the events in here. All right. The next thing that you're going to do, so just remember when we actually, I think the one for the thread gets deleted right here. Okay. So delete the thread. Then you're going to fire off that event right here. Okay. Then you fire off that event. Okay. So when that gets deleted, and when the reply gets deleted as well, you fire off those events. Okay. And then you do the necessary things. Right. So that's it for me. I'm not going to do that because I want to leave it as homework so that whatever I've done now can just sink a little bit in uh, so that you guys can learn a little bit more. Right. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't like the video, please give it a dislike. Any negative positive constructive feedback are always appreciated and please consider subscribing to the channel it will help us out quite a lot and yes see you in the next one adios